Texas A&M owns an Egyptian mummy, and there are conflicting accounts of the lore behind it. Around the 1910s, the first dean of the School of Veterinary Medicine, Mark Francis, bought a mummy and brought it to campus. Its legend grew. The mummy was falsely labeled a tax collector for an Egyptian pharaoh. The hieroglyphics on the coffin were roughly translated, giving the mummy its first name, A-N-H-H-R-H-3-C-P-J. It soon became tradition to force freshman cadets to memorize the name and recite it on command when asked who is the oldest man on campus. When Dr. Francis died in 1936, he donated his collections to the university. For nearly three decades, the mummy lived in a campus museum where the Langford Architecture Center now stands. But the mummy fell into disrepair. Researchers later used CT scans to learn that bones had moved, the jaw had been stolen, and wasps took up residence in its head. In 1970, AM shipped the mummy to the Houston Museum of Natural Science, where it remains on permanent loan today in the Hall of Ancient Egypt. That's where the hieroglyphics were correctly translated, giving him the name Ankhop. The mummy's tale is so strange, it's the subject of a new book coming out later this year.